Well, well, what do we have here? Did I finally catch a tasty little morsel in my web? It's about time. I've not had a bite to eat all evening. I'm starving. Ah, let's see what this wriggling's all about. Ah, it seems like a big catch, compared to most little rabbits or birds I catch. Oh, is that a human? Ah, 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 please calm down, calm down. Stop squirming so much. You're getting yourself even more stuck. Oh, shh, shh. I'm not here to harm you. Plus, I don't eat humans. Well, not often anyway. <laughs> um, so, what brings you to my humble abode? <laughs> Besides getting stuck, I mean. Most humans avoid this forest. It's awfully dangerous for you here, you know. Oh dear, I am not going to eat you. Just tell me what's going on. You seem a bit upset. And about something else besides just being stuck, I mean. You can talk to me. I'm here to listen. You were running away. Did the other humans in your home treat you that badly? Oh, you poor dear. I'm so sorry. Well... You're safe with me now. You're lucky to have run into my web rather than someone else's, you know. Hmm, yes, I have a weak spot for humans. Your kind is so fascinating. So I'll take good care of you here, I promise. Uh, but you'll be staying in my web, of course, won't you? I won't hurt you, I promise. But I don't want to let you go just yet. Not until after I've made sure you feel better. Huh? It's comfy enough that you do want to stay. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, the first thing we'll do is bundle you all up in a tight cozy cocoon. Just think of it like a blanket. Oh, 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 no, dear, it's not scary. I promise. I just want you to relax. Ah, I'll just cover you all up now. From your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Wrapped up nice and tight, but not too tight. I don't want it to make you uneasy. <sighs> now, it'll be a nice silky blanket, made just for you. There you go. Now you're totally bundled up. How does that feel? Comfy? Good. Now, focus on relaxing. Just relax all the muscles in your body. You're suspended in my gently swaying web. Here, even gravity has no hold over you, my darling. You're entirely weightless. You don't have to hold yourself up with any of your muscles. My web and blanket will do that for you. So just take a deep breath 
and sink into feeling calm and comfortable. That's it, dear. Just let go of all that tension in your body. Take slow, deep breaths. And let all of your worries melt away. You're nice and safe here. That's it. You can close your eyes now. I'm right here to keep you safe. Slowly rocking you in the gentle swing of the web. Lulling you to sleep. Your fears and anxieties are leaving your mind. Instead, fill your mind with comforting thoughts. I'm here for you. You're safe. You're calm. And you're sleepy. My sweet little pet. Just let yourself relax while I take care of you. Just stay cozy in your wonderfully silky new blanket. Let all of your worries go. Did you know... There are stories about spider people and spiders all over the world. Some of them are not very nice, like the legends of the Suchigumo, but I think there are some rather nice stories that I would like to tell you. Like this one. One day, a chief was hunting in the forest, and he was also hunting for a symbol to give to his people. He came upon the tracks of a huge deer, and at this the chief became very excited. Oh, great deer, he said, surely you will show yourself to me. You will become the symbol of my people. And so he began to follow in its tracks, and his eyes were on nothing else as he followed those tracks, and he ran faster and faster through the forest, when suddenly he ran right into a huge spider's web that had been strung between the trees right across the trail. Oh, and when he got up, he was very angry. He struck at the spider who was sitting at the edge of the web. But the spider jumped out of reach. And that's when the spider spoke to the man. Ah, human, the spider said. Why do you run through the woods looking at nothing but the ground? Oh, the chief felt very foolish then, but he felt compelled to answer the spider. And he said, I was following the tracks of a great deer, for I am seeking a symbol of strength for my people. Oh, said the spider, I can be such a symbol. Peh, said the chief. How can you be a symbol of strength? You are small and weak, and I didn't even see you while I followed the great deer. Ah, said the spider, but look upon me. I am patient. I watch and I wait, and in time all things come to me. If your people learn this lesson, then they will become strong indeed. The chief saw that this was so, 
and thus the spider became one of the great symbols of his people. Isn't that a nice story? It's a good lesson for us all. Ah, well, now I am very tired. So, let us both get some rest, my dear. Good night. Hey, sorry to bother you, but uh, if you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, would you mind hitting that subscribe button for me? Thanks a bunch.